Welcome to Mikey's Gaming Oasis, and today's video we are going to be going over the quality of life patch that was just released today, September 26, 2024, by the devs of Dawn of Defiance. In this patch, there is a plethora of items to cover. I'm only going to cover some of them that weren't covered by Monday in her video, link in description below, and some that were covered just to give a little bit more information on them. The first one we're going to go over is the continue button. You guessed it, the continue button does exactly what it sounds like it does. If you have multiple worlds going and you just left one and you're coming back the next day or later on that day and you want to pick up right where you left off, all you got to do is go in and hit continue. It'll take you to your last saved world. Okay, in my case, it would be my live stream world from, Mon uh, from Tuesday during my Tuesday live stream at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The next thing we're going to go over is the new creative mode rule set. We're going to go into my creative mode world here. We're going to go to rule set in the top. If you click on that top banner there where I'm highlighting, it'll give you two options and it'll adjust what's in your settings. It'll give you the normal mode or the creative mode. Experimental, of course, as we're still in early access. When you click on creative mode, what that does is it changes all the rules to allow you to have creative mode instead of you having to go in and click each individual one over. The next big update is that's in this patch is the interactive map. We can now place icons to indicate what items we find or things we want to keep track of on the map. All you got to do is highlight the color and the icon you want, right click on the map where you want to place it. It'll also give you an indicator for a custom marker in the bottom right. When you click on one of the items that are already on the map, such as Aeacus or one of the temp the shrines, it'll give you information on that item. You can also now place waypoints. Those waypoints are visible by you as well as your fellow defiers if you are all playing on the same map. The last thing in here is, well, second to last thing, is that if you zoom in and out, no matter the aspect ratio, it'll show the entire map. Now, the waypoint is interesting. The waypoint can be seen on the top of your compass there, and it'll show you where it is so you can have to go back in. The other thing is painting items. They've updated this to where we can paint our curtains and our pillows. Now keep in mind, they're still working on this, so the only items right now that we can change for right now is the curtains pillows. We can't do the day beds, we can't do the uh, our actual bed itself, and we can't do the carpets. So we're gonna have to customize it as much as we can and they're allowing us to do so, which is awesome. That means they're listening to us. So don't forget to join their Discord if you haven't done so already and share your thoughts on the game and what you feel is needed to help improve it. They take your suggestions very seriously and they appreciate them very much. Trust me, I've spoken to Monday on multiple occasions and they are very respect receptive to our inputs to improve the game. Now, one of the other things that's changed is the combat with the golems, okay? Golems have changed, they've improved their targeting, they've given a better balance to them, and in this one, in the new update, what they've done is once you get the golem down to a certain health level, it'll do a new animation. Just It's going to hunch down. That doesn't mean it's dead. Keep hitting it. It's going to come back. Okay. Then it, it, you'll see here shortly. It's going to do it again. I'm about to die, but I'll make it. I'll make it. It's going to drop down again. And there it is. Okay. Now I'm going to hit it one more time to kill it. One other thing I've noticed is we have more items dropping on these kills, so it gives a better balance on loot. The next one is at the temples. No more uh, Gorgons at the temples. We now have the captains at the temples. So as you know, the captains are a little more durable when it comes to arrows. So. When we're fighting at the at the shrines, rather, not the temples, we're gonna have to get a little more up close and personal to take out these captains. As you can see, it really adds to the difficulty. Granted, I did forget to, to eat my food to increase my health. 
the next thing is matching the durability of the tool with the material that you're gathering. So in this example, I'm using a primitive ax to try and get some olive trees. It's saying, no, you can't do it. You need a copper ax. I switch over to my copper ax. And instead of it being just like, oh, if I'm using the copper ax on softwood, the durability on my ax is going to go down based on the hardness of that item. As you can see, if you look closely, the durability on that ax is moving down while it is just a tier above what is required to harvest this material. So keep in mind of that while you're doing that. They've also balanced the durability of all other items as well. So keep your repair items with you. The next big update that I find great allows us to give more customization is when you're customizing your gear, it is now giving you previews on what that gear is going to look like when you're at those when you're at the artist artisan station and at the crafting station for your armor. The other thing, as you know, before if you've been playing for a while, your plumage was always the same color, was always red. You couldn't really change that. Now we can. That plumage on your helmet is going to change based on the color palette you have decided to use. Okay, so if you pick up that that lovely blue there or the green, that red, you'll get that pink plumage or Monday's favorite teal and, teal and pink, it's going to change with you. So it gives us a little more depth to our customization, which is awesome. Now, something I personally love as a builder, if you follow my channel, you know what I'm talking about. They have now added stone doorways with doors so the doorways for the stone used to just be an opening you used to have to put in the wood stone the wood doorways for the doors and then paint them to match the stone around it now both the single doorway and the double doorways are able to uh come with a different style for a door itself i think the artistry in this is absolutely beautiful and it goes well with what they've done so far with the game and the visuals on it. One other thing you may notice when you look in your menu, your build menu, is they have updated the icons for those builds. And if you didn't catch it in the last uh, quality of life, they changed where to get the stone grinder. Not the stone grinder, the, the material grinder. You got to use a little extra stuff. Now, one change that they made in the dark forest which i think is very very fitting is they decided to remove the deer from the dark forest and put in wolves on top of that they've increased the spawn of fauna which is your animals within the map in its entirety okay that will help us greatly as we work through completing the missions given to us by Aeacus. I don't know. The captain got me in the dark forest. Now, for full patch notes, go over to Steam and take a look. Uh, as you can see, you have the, the feature editions that we've gone over right here. Then you also have the improvements that some of them we've gone over. I haven't gone over all of them because they've done a great job and had so many in here this time. And then they have a metric ton, and I mean metric ton, of patch notes for bug fixes all the way down at the bottom. Now, those bug fixes, you have to go back to their Discord. I've got to, I know I'm preaching it, but I'm saying it again. Join their Discord. If you are playing the game and you find a bug or you find an exploit that shouldn't be working a certain way, go on to their Discord let them know. It helps them improve the game for all of us. Don't just take advantage of those little glitches and issues that you find. Let the devs know so that they can fix it and improve this game and help them get out of early access with a complete and well-made game that we will all enjoy. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful and you want to stay up to date with all Dawn of Defiance news, Please like, subscribe, and keep an eye on this channel as I will be doing regular updates whenever the devs decide to sneak something in or do a patch note update. 